guys, welcome back to a scratch another scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to use the blocks in the pen category. So this is actually going to be a fun video because one of my favorite categories is the pen category. And if you want, um, in the previous video I said I could teach you how to make a well rainbow infinite triangle and i use the pen blocks in that video so if you want me to do that tell me in the comments down below i would definitely enjoy doing that for you guys but without further ado let's get started so first we have the erase all block now what this does is when you click it it erases every single thing thing you drew so it's pretty useless without another thing another block but so I will show you that I'll show you that later so next we have the stamp what this does is let's do this what this does is it stamps so it literally copies and pastes it uh, but unlike a clone you can't write any code into it it's just like a stamp it's literally a stamp watch this see I can move the first one but the second one it's pretty still let's get this to 50 let's see what happens as you can see, I can't move these around. I can only move the original. So let's bring the original here. Let's get it to zero. Zero. And now what we're going to do is we can now use the erase all block and boom. So I'm going to make a simple code with the stamp block and I will be back. So I have a code here. Um, so I have a my own block. I have a repeat until stop when. So my stop when is when x position is greater than 240. So this will stop when your x position is greater than 240. It repeats until repeat times. So now we have the stamp and the erase all. Let's see. Oh wait, I have to press start. Let's see if we can run this without screen refresh. Okay, so let's make this run without screen refresh. Go. As you can see, it is a bit buggy, but mm, it happens when you're coding. So those are the erase all and stamp blocks. So anyway, next we have the pen down and pen up controlling sequences. Now, we need these to be together. So, pen down, actually, let's say, pen down, move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees. And then move another 10 steps and then turn another 15 degrees. And then it lifts the pen up. Let's see. As you can see, it creates a line, but we need to move more than 10 steps to see a difference. So let's go to zero, 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 and let's erase all. I want to keep this handy, so let's erase all and let's see. As you can see, it goes 100 steps, it creates an angle, and it goes another 100 steps. So what this does is it controls when you want your pen to be down and draw draw stuff and when you want it to go up. So those are those. Next we have the set pen color 2. You can choose what color your pen can be from the image or from the drawing board we have here. But I want to set my pen color to the color of my cat. So let's raise all. Let's go to 0. Zero. And now let's set pen color to greenish green. Let's have a pen down and pen up sequence. Not a pen up up. But let's go. Let me switch this to 100. So pen down. Set pen color to that and move 100 steps. Pen up. 100 steps. Actually, move negative 100 steps and pen down. Move negative 100 steps. Move negative 100 steps. 
So what you can do is you can set your pen color to anything you want and input that over there. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want to resume. I want to resume my recording. I don't want to delete it. Well, that was a problem we had there, guys. Set pen color to my variable. I don't know if this works. Yeah, it does work. Surprise. I'm very surprised. So my variable's color is dark green. I did not know that. Or I actually want to get the exact color of this. It's more of a dark bluish navy. Yeah, it's a dark blue. I actually like it. So let's delete those and go here, erase all. Set our position to zero. Well, my pen is still down. It's going to be a problem. You can actually, if you want, guys, go to YouTube. I will provide a link for this in the description. Go to Professor's Blue, Professor Blue's video on how to make a 3D thing in Scratch. I don't know exactly what it's called. But he also uses the pen tool to make a 3D, a really cool 3D engine in Scratch. So definitely go check out his video. I will leave a link in the description down below. And let's go to our next one. So this one changes your pen color and sets your pen color to what you want. So I want to change my pen's color by 10 and pen down. Actually, I want to keep this handy. Change pen color by 10. Change pen. Why is it my pen color changing? Ah. Um, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Let's try pen color by 15. Oh yeah, because my pen color is so dark, that's why. Let's set my pen color to a lighter color. Let's move 100 steps. Change pen color by 15, move 100 steps. I don't know why on earth. It okay, so let's change pen color by 25. Let's see if that's going to work better. Let's drag it down here. And, boom. oh yeah, that works better. So why don't we just duplicate this and... I will have a code and I will be back after my code is finished. Okay, so my pen code is finished. Actually, we're also going to be using this change pen color by in my triangular forever going nine cat looking thingy. So let's go. Actually, I want to put one more lock right here. And after each one, I want it to turn 15 degrees. After each and every single one of them. Okay. This is taking much longer than I expected. I just want to have simple code. And by the way, guys, while you're at it, please leave a like and subscribe. And by the way, our activity of the day is for you to go to scratch.mit.edu. And I will have a link for that in the description too. And I want you to create a block using the pen extension, which can, you can get from clicking this button here called add extension. Click the pen icon and you will get the pen extension. Then I want you guys to go ahead and create a project with your pen. Share it, and I want you to give me a link for it in the description down below. Thank you for doing that, if you did it. Okay, so, let's point in direction 90 at the beginning, and let's go. Whoa, whoops. Let's try that again. Why is my direction at left, right? I want to be, yeah. Ooh, I think we're going a bit too far with this. Why don't we set all of these to 50, and I will be back. Okay, so, guys, our code is done. Let's see if this works. Still too big, but as you, I'm pretty sure you can see what's going on. So next we have set pen color to you can literally just click this over and over again. Set your pen color to whichever pen color you want. Let's pen down and move. Yeah. So I actually just want my move. So let's see. I set my pen color to 50 and let's go. So 50 is, as you can see, aqua. So that's basically the set pen color. That's all it is. 
So then we have the change pen size and set pen size too. So I want to change my pen size by one. And let's see what this does now. As you can see, it's much thicker. So it's much easier to see, but when it's thinner, actually, I want to set my pen size to just a nice, just a good old 2.4. Erase all, go over here, change in direction 90, erase all, and let's start. Actually, I want it to be here. As you can see, it's thinner, we have more colors, but it's still pretty good. So, actually, that's all the blocks we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do the Agents of Shield team with the music blocks, like I said in my last video, and if you want me to do the Nyan Cat triangle forever going weird loop thingy, definitely tell me that if you want me to do it, because I would very much enjoy doing it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for, the, uh, for this video. Wow, this video was over in a flash. It was actually quite short. I am going to miss ma making videos because today, this is probably going to be third premiere of today. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, get this video to likes. If you want to see more extensions, get this video to four likes. And if you want to see Dash and Dot, which is a programming software like Scratch, get this video to six likes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Scratch Tutorials, and peace.